I'm Brie Kay of theseofthesounds.com and in this video I'm going to show you how I do my white noise filter sweeps. But first, this is the intro. So the first thing that we're going to do is come over here and make a new track and we'll keep it mono and it's going to be an aux track. And then I'm just going to move this to the top to make it easier for myself. And then I usually title these tracks Wooshies because they sound like they make a whooshy sound. And then we're going to come over to our mix window. And we are going to add a signal generator plugin, which is under the category of other. Well, we want to choose the white noise setting and I'm just going to turn it down and I really like my white noise filter sweeps to have like a lot of highs in them so I'm going to open up my 7 band EQ and I'm just going to drastically <laughs> cut out these low frequencies and boost the higher frequencies and then I like to give them reverb because reverb makes them just sound a bit more natural when they fade in and out. And I just use the OG Hall setting. The only thing I, I do is turn up the gain. And then I will turn the Wuxi all the way down so that I can work with it. And then I like to use these to kind of ease in and out of different parts that are supposed to be built up. So I'm going to use it. to transition right here from the pre-chorus into what would be the chorus of this beat. And I'll usually just start where I wanted to start, I'll make my point. Uh, where I wanted to kind of like peak is where I'll make another point, and then where I wanted to end is where I will make another point. And then I will just raise it uh, to, you know, sometimes it's guesswork, but it's usually right around here for me, it's kind of the, sp the sweet spot. Um, it's gonna be different obviously for every beat and it'll be different for you, but um, I'll raise it to about there, and then I'll listen to it to see if it sounds too low or too loud or anything. So that's it, it just pretty much will subtly um, go in and out of the part that you want it to kind of sound built up on. Uh, I will usually cut out like the last half note, I'll just, oops, <laughs> not like that. Um, I'll usually just cut out the last half note of the bar leading up to the peak of it or leading up to the part that I want to sound most build up, I'll just cut out the last half note for like some dramatic pause effect. It's very subtle but it really helps uh, for me to, to make the part really sound built up the way that I want it to. So that's pretty much it. I hope that that was helpful for you. If you have any questions, please go ahead and leave them in the comments and I will do my best to answer them. If there's any other tutorials or anything that you need help with that I could possibly show you how to do, please let me know also in the comments. If you made it this far into the video, chances are you probably kind of liked it, so would you please give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to this channel, please go ahead and click subscribe and you may as well just go ahead and click the bell too just to be part of the Noti game to get notifications for videos like this. All right, I think that that's everything. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, peace out.